Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video, where today I believe I have found 8 new potential dinosaurs that could appear in the Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous that's hopefully releasing soon. Now please be aware that some of these dinosaurs aren't actually dinosaurs, and some of them are actually aquatic reptiles, and also one of these dinosaurs has previously appeared in the TV show. But let's start off saying the obvious, the mystery dinosaur of E750. We already know what name it's going to be, however I'm not going to name it because of spoilers. But since we already know what it's going to be, it's technically a mystery dinosaur. We know what type of dinosaur quote unquote it's going to be, and we also know the name of it. With that information being said, we can sort of come up with an idea of what type of dinosaur this is going to be, and there's not really much known about that I can say without having spoilers. There'll probably be a few cards popping up in the top right of the video that you can check out for the E750 videos if you wish to find out its name and what it could potentially look like. However, from what we know so far, this dinosaur does seem very dangerous and it could potentially be the main antagonist of Season 3. This dinosaur will hunt down the guests, attack Bumpy, maybe even attack Toro if he's still around, but it will be interesting to see what the final design of the mystery dinosaur E750 will look like. Next up, we have a huge fan favourite that we haven't seen since 2001 and that is the Spinosaurus. As you guys know, in 2018, the DPG released the list of dinosaurs that were bred on the island of Isla Nublar in 2015. One of those dinosaurs was the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus has not been seen anywhere besides the skeleton of it in 2015's Jurassic World since 2001, so it's very interesting to see where this dinosaur will return. For people doubting that the Spinosaurus will come to Season 3, ask yourself this. Where exactly did the Ceratosaurus come from? Ceratosaurus was also on that list of the DPG, suffering a similar cruelty fate to the Spinosaurus, so I don't doubt the fact that this spined lizard creature will appear eventually, and hopefully also be one of the big antagonists that somehow pop up down the line. Now, speaking of the Ceratosaurus, Ceratosaurus in number 3. The reason why I'm repeating Ceratosaurus is because we didn't really get to see all that much of it in Season 2, so hopefully in Season 3 we'll get to see a little bit more of the Ceratosaurus, since it was a little bit underwhelming from what happened in the events of Season 2. Similar to what I expect will happen to the Spinosaurus if it were to show up, it will only show up for a couple of scenes and not really do much after that. But yes, the Ceratosaurus is definitely a dinosaur loads of people want questions answered to, and very much want to see where this Ceratosaurus will come from and if there's going to be a backstory for it. We'll get into that in a later video down the line. Now in number 4, we have a dinosaur that is not a dinosaur but more of a marine reptile. This is the Plesiosaurus or the Elasmosaurus. Plesiosaurus is more well known in the Jurassic Park community and franchise so I'm going to stick with it being a Plesiosaurus. However, when we look at the gates of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous we can see a Triceratops, a T-Rex, a Velociraptor I believe. This is going off the top of my head right here, I'm not looking at the image. But in the bottom left we can see a Plesiosaurid which could be a Lasmosaurus or Plesiosaurus. If you guys didn't know, in Jurassic World there was an attraction called the Plesiosaur Pond which was supposed to be home to many marine reptiles like the Tylosaurus, but specifically the Plesiosaurus as well. The Plesiosaurus Pond was an attraction originally meant to appear in Jurassic World, but was cut from the final film. It was to be a large pool like the Jurassic World Lagoon inhabited by Plesiosaurus and several unidentified species of Ichthyosauruses. Visitors to Jurassic World would be able to visit the attraction by boarding a submarine attached to the monorail. So some very interesting information right there. Despite the attraction being cut from the film, Plesiosaurus is one of the animals that could be viewed on the holoscape of the Innovation Center, possibly meaning it could have well lived in Jurassic World. Not only that, I believe in the Telltale game, we actually got to see Jurassic Park if it were to have a some form of Pleaser Pond, and I think the Pleasosaurus appeared, or was it Tylosaurus, one of those two. So I don't doubt the fact, because of its hint in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous' gates, and also the fact that it was supposed to be in Jurassic World, we could see the Pleasosaurus appear some way, shape, or form. Next up in fifth spot, we have a sauropod that we haven't seen since 1997, and it was only for a brief moment on screen in The Lost World. The Mementisaurus. The Mementisaurus was a dinosaur that was, strangely enough, being presented as a Camp Cretaceous dinosaur in Poland earlier this year, or earlier in 2020, shall I say. Now with that being said, we never saw the Mementisaurus appear anywhere, including the Triceratops as well actually, but we didn't get to see them two appear anywhere in Season 1 or Season 2. 
And with season 3 looking like it will be the final season of Camp Cretaceous, if they want to promote the Mementisaurus a little bit more like they used to, then I don't doubt the fact that we could see this long neck herbivore appearing again in hopefully Camp Cretaceous season 3. Again that does ask many questions, like it will for the Spinosaurus and the Ceratosaurus as to why it came over from Site B onto Isla Nublar. Next up we have the Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus, as you guys well know, was a dinosaur that was supposed to appear in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 1 or Season 2. We have a concept art of it that showcases the kids running around on quad bikes and a motorbike and a gyrosphere with the Styracosaurus and a herd of Triceratops, Apatosaurus and Stegosaurus running behind them which is very cool to say the least. According to the Dinosaur Protection Group, Styracosaurus was also subjected to cruelty sometime before 2018, although it is unknown if there are any surviving populations remaining. So since we don't know if any of these dinosaurs did survive, we didn't know if any Ceratosaurus survived either and all of a sudden it appears out of nowhere. So I don't doubt the fact that since it was in concept art, Styracosaurus could potentially appear in the final season of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. Next up in 7th spot we have the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus at this point in time would be a juvenile creature, so what better way to introduce another baby dinosaur into the franchise? We know that Bumpy went down really well with the fan base because of how cute she was as a baby. Loads of people weren't really happy to see how quick she did grow, however that was supposed to happen because of the law that Bumpy actually had accelerated growth rates. So with that being said, since we know the Allosaurus in 2018 when they went back to the island was a juvenile, I don't doubt the fact that we could be introduced to a miniature or a baby Allosaurus to kind of reimburse the vision of baby dinosaurs back in the Jurassic franchise. I honestly think that would be absolutely amazing. We can see with Jurassic World that baby dinosaurs start to become more of a thing. With the playpen and then in Battle of Big Rock with the baby Nasutoceratops, Bumpy being a baby, in Fallen Kingdom we can see a baby Triceratops, and that was kind of promoted a little bit more. I understand in The Lost World that we did see a baby Stegosaurus, and also a baby Velociraptor in Jurassic Park, but you know, it seems like these dinosaurs now can kind of get a better backstory through Camp Cretaceous or other TV shows. So hopefully we'll get to see an Allosaurus baby appear in Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Now for the final dinosaur on this list, the Suchomimus. The Suchomimus, similar to the Baryonyx and Spinosaurus, is a Spinosaurid. And the only mention it has on the on-screen appearances is when Billy thinks that the Spinosaurus is actually a Suchomimus because of its snout. And ever since then we haven't seen anything about this dinosaur. However, we know by law that it was on Isla Nublar at some point during the events of Jurassic World. And specifically, it did hang out in the Cretaceous cruise that we did see the kids go on during the events of Season 1. Suchomimus was originally planned to be an attraction at Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar. About 75% of its genome was extracted, but sadly, this never came to fruition due to financial problems that InGen faced during the 1990s. The dinosaur was recreated by InGen for Masrani Global Corporation's new dinosaur park, Jurassic World. Its colour scheme on the website was dark blue with a yellow underbelly and striping from the tail to its lower back. These new clones had proto feathers on the back of their arms and on the top of their heads, though its true appearance in the park is unknown. Suchomimus did live in the Cretaceous cruise with its relative Baryonyx. And during the events of Fallen Kingdom, while no Suchomimus appeared in the film, it has been revealed that there were surviving Suchomimus populations on Isla Nublar. By 2018, water poisoning and increased acidity caused by toxic emissions from the volcano were predicted to kill populations of aquatic creatures such as fish, endangered during the species of the Suchomimus. None, however, were seen being taken to Lockwood Manor, and it can be assumed that the species has sadly fallen back into extinction. But you do have to remember that that is based around the year of 2018. Right now, in Season 3, the kids are currently in late 2015 or early 2016 time, where the Suchomimus is in fact alive. And we know by the DPG that Suchomimus populations were on Isla Nublar in 2015, so I don't doubt the fact that eventually, hopefully a little cameo, that the Suchomimus could appear in the final instalment of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. And you know, loads of people absolutely love the Suchomimus, so I don't doubt the fact that the producers have heard this fan comment 
about loving the Sukumimus and that we've never seen it and we really want to see it. And hopefully Camp Cretaceous is where it will make its debut. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy today's list of dinosaurs. Remember, these are all potential dinosaurs and no way, shape or form mean that they are confirmed. I do hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did enjoy today's video, why not consider by smashing that like button and also subscribing to the channel. Do post down your favourite dinosaur on this list in the comment section down below. But anyways, in the meantime, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.